Hello, good evenings, and I am going to uh, teach you the very important topics in the digital logics that is called as K map. K map, and K map is used to K map is used to simplify simplify the boolean expressions boolean expressions okay so very important uh, before the starting the cam apps you should must know that okay, how what are the formats and how to design the cam app if you given for the two inputs the format of the cam app is look like this two input if you given a and b this will represent as a a complement and this is the a this is b complement and b a complement also represent as a zero this is one this is zero and this is one if you given for the three inputs if you given for the three inputs three inputs a is this and b and c a complement and a this will divide into four parts b bar and c bar b bar and c b c and b c complement this will be the format of the k map we have given for three inputs one is a another two input is b and c the format is b bar c bar b bar c bar also is represented as a zero and zero b bar and c is represented as zero and one b c represented as a one and one and b c complement represent as a zero and uh, one and zero a bar as zero and this is one if you given for the four inputs you have to design four into four matrix one two three four one two three and four two inputs will be the horizontal a and b another two will be the c and c and d as a two inputs c and d this will be the same and look like as a three into three matrix the format will be the same a bar b bar a bar b a b and a b complement similarly this will look like a c bar d bar c bar d c d and c d complement so how the problems it will come in for the k map maybe the questions will be given in the term of sum of product like questions number 12 in your assignment is given sigma of m is equal to 0 3 5 sorry 0 is not given 3 5 6 8 10 and 14 this is given in the questions 10 12 and 14 10 12 and 14 this is given in the questions so these three means represent as a a for given the four input a b c and d so c and three this will be zero zero and one one hope you know the boolean expressions and how to design the if any numbers uh, given in the decimal format yeah hexadecimal format how to design in the boolean yeah binary numbers I hope you know already that's why i'm exactly converting this three you can write as zero zero and one and one similarly this five you can write here a b c and d the four input here so these two will what inactive b is four and this is five you can write zero one zero and one so either may be given in the problems in three formats either they will give in the form of sigma of m is equal to this yeah may be given this one plus this one six may be right here six you can write it here a b c and d this is the four input you can write a bar and this is the you can write here zero one one and zero okay eight also you can write right? eight is a, another input you can write here a b c and d the four input on that three will be complements and you can write one zero zero and zero this is the eight 12 as well you can write it a b c and d the four input this will be the inactive one one zero zero plus 14 you can write here 8 plus 4 plus 2 14 and d complement you can write 1 1 1 and 0 so 
you can check out here questions may be given in the three formats either they will give in the sum of product forms 3 5 6 8 10 12 and 14 yeah may be given in the canonical form this is called as canonical forms is given in the format same this is equivalent of this and may be given in the boolean forms 0 0 and 1 and this the so, e conversions you already know in this one if you given you can convert in the form of the canonical forms and as well you can convert in the boolean forms if you know the binary how to convert this uh, hexadecimal numbers or yeah, decimal number in the form of binary you can represent in all the three formats if you given okay so all are three are vice versa so if you given for the four inputs because you can understand here okay, how is given in the four format three input is what's here how to numbering of the k map if you given for the two inputs you can represent this is zero one two and three if you given for the three inputs you can represent zero 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you're given for the 4 input, you can represent 0, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. This is the representation of the uh, any uh, K map for the inputs using the for given the sum of product forms so here is given till the 14th means this is the matrix of the 4 into 4 means if you given for the 4 input as well as we will mention in the questions okay, how many inputs is applicable for this expressions now we have to convert this expression this large expression in the form of boolean expressions so we will take the 4 inputs a b c and d This will be A bar, B bar, A bar, B, A, B, and A, B bar. This C bar, D bar, C bar, D, C, D, and C, D complement. Now numbering, you can write either in the form of this, either in the form of canonical forms, any format you can write. Like can see if you given 3 here, the 3 is which form, which tab, uh, which row and column is this, this is the, the first row, third column first row third column is what three you can write the active one yeah you can think like that here zero uh, this is zero zero one and one zero zero one and one a bar b bar and c and d is the what in the first place you can write zero zero this is a bar b bar also represents zero 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 one one zero one one and one zero this represents zero 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 one 1 1 and 1 0 so you can check out 0 0 and 1 1 in which row which column this one first one yeah you can write here a bar b bar c and d a bar b bar c and d a bar b bar a bar b bar a bar b bar and c and d is the first row and third column now another is fifth fifth is you can write a bar b c bar d a bar b c bar d this is the fifth positions you can check on in the previous which I gave given the numbering here this is the uh, cell we have given the 5 here you can enter the value of 1 1 6 is this one 8 is likewise 1 uh, 10 is 1 this is 10 this is 11 this is zero. 10 is this one 11 is mm, uh, 10 is this one 12 12 is this and 14 this 12 is this one and 14 this one another another place you place you write it 0 0 0 0 0 0 now if you simplify the kmf first we have to give the preference to the octal first you have to give the preference to the octal then we'll give to the word quad and then we'll give to the pair so as you can check out there is what no any octal octal means one 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 and one 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 if you given you can make it a pair as a octal one one for all our eight numbers is given in the one and one but here is what given a one one and this is zero and zero you can't make it the octal so we'll go for the quad quad there is what no any quad in the rectangular forms yeah you can't take the horizon uh, diagonal wise so there is what one octal this two and this two this two this two will simplify so you can write here c bar d bar this is c bar d 
you can take the common in d bar d bar you can take the common you will get here you will get it c bar and here you will get it c c bar plus c is 1 so you will get it d bar from the vertical in this if you simplify you can take the common as a, a and you will get b plus b bar is 1 so you will get it a plus this one there is no any pair no any quad no any octal if this will be the one if this will be the one you can make as a pair you can make as a pair you can make as a pair in this three fashion but you, there is what zero here <coughs> you can't write any of the pair so you have to simplify this one what you correct a bar b bar c and d a bar b bar and c and d plus this one what you correct a bar b and c bar and d a bar b and c bar and d this one you can write it this one you can write it a bar b a bar b and c d bar a bar b c and d bar so this will be the simplification of this boolean expressions using the k map and another method also there's so many method uh, is there to simplify but this is the one of the best method to simplify the boolean expressions by using the k map okay thank you